All right, Viking fans, I'm getting done watching the Bears beat the Patriots. Time for my power rankings going into week eight next in three, two, one. <laughs> Gather around, Skull Brothers and Sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, at Skull World. Now, make sure you hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Tell me where you think the Vikings should be. Tell me where, if you're a, a fan of another team, tell me where I'm wrong. Ter tell me where I'm right. Hopefully, I'm not too far off from what the real, real power rankings are. Let's go. Up next is counting down from 32. Let me get rid of Justin Jefferson and the Purple Hulk, our mascot. We get to 32. All right. Texans, even though I don't, they, they regain their 32nd position. The Steelers at 31. Lions are terrible, are terrible right now. They got one, one win, and they they put themselves at 30th. The Bears, I had dead last, although I thought the Texans were still worse than them. But they they have fight in them, and they just pulled off a victory against the Patriots, keeping Belichick from, you know, getting his victory today to get you know to match some Hall of Famers. All right, this is 29 of the Bears. All right, the Panthers pull out a victory. Fire your coach. Get rid of your best player. Win a game. That's that's the formula. That's the formula, guys. All right, and then I got the Jaguars. Still not figuring this out. Still not figuring it out. They're 27. Browns still not got it together. Now, here's a team at 25 that's kind of shocked people. Taylor Heineke. Used to be a Viking, pulls it out. They're moving up, 25th position. I still think the Saints are better than them, though. I got them at 24. I don't even know why I have the Broncos here, but I do. Uh, they're at 23. I would, I would almost put them behind the Saints and the. Gosh, I don't know. They could be a lot lower than this. The, uh, the Colts. Struggling, having problems with their quarterback situation. Falcons, I don't think they played, but hey, they uh, move up a spot. The Packers, oh my gosh. Looking bad, man. Looking bad, moving down 20th overall. They'll, they'll figure it out somehow. In my schedule prediction, I have us losing to them because they're trying at the second last game of the year. Go check it out. That was out this mor uh, the, the morning of the day you're watching this. So uh, you, you, it came out at 8.30 on Tuesday morning. All right, Patriots. They're 19th to draw after this game. Which lets me believe that the Raiders are going to go on a run. I think they're better than 18. But right now are not better than the Cardinals. They got, you know, they got their number one receiver back, so I have them jumping up here to 17. Now, are they better than the Rams? Maybe. I don't know. Rams are hard to figure out this year. Now, is Tom Brady regretting life right now? I got the Bucks at 15. What is up with this team? Probably one of the hotter teams in the league, the Seahawks. What is going on, man? What is going on with the Seahawks? Number 13, 49ers. They're struggling. I might have put the CX ahead of them, but I, I just think uh, once they get it together, they're not playing a, you know, the Chiefs, that they, they'll be one of the be better teams in the league. So I'm keeping them at 13. Dolphins figure it out, get a victory. 
Two is back. Four and three Dolphins. 11, I got the Jets. I don't think they're this good, folks, and they just lost their, you know, their number one running back who is who is really good. So Jets might be on the way out now. Titans, number 10. I'm still not in our sphere of confidence here. Not in the sphere of confidence yet. Got the Chargers at number nine, even though they lost. Ravens sitting tight at eight. Bengals jump up, number seven. The Giants are just a solid team. I think somebody's going to figure these guys out. They'll start losing games. Cowboys, I have a, I have us losing the Cowboys at home in my schedule prediction. I think they're a better team than us now because they got the edge at defense. But for right now, the Vikings are sitting at four because of these three teams are not changing. I'd say my sphere of confidence right now is starting at number seven. It's gradually getting smaller. We'll figure it out. I think it'll expand a bit later. I think it could go to number nine. This is possibly number nine and up might be my sphere of confidence. But that's it. That's my power rankings. This is Skull World brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Skull Vikings, see you next time. Cue the music. Thank you, Viking fans, for listening. Make sure you catch my other episodes. Also, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Skull Vikes.